Tomorrow, Panthers great Sam Mills will be enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He'll also, uh, will also, by the way, get a look at the bronze bust that will sit in the hall forever. Sports director Nick Carboni has more on what we can expect it to look like. The centerpiece of the Pro Football Hall of Fame is right here in the bust room, a collection of hundreds of bronze likenesses of the game's greats. Sam Mills will soon take his place in this space. We won't see the bust until Saturday, but we spoke with the man who made it. Besides the speeches, the unveiling of the inductees' busts has become an integral piece of Hall of Fame weekend. The game's greats are immortalized right before our and their very eyes. I want them to be happy, but ultimately I have to push myself to make sure it looks, you know, beyond just looks like them, but, you know, breathe some life into it. Ben Hammond has been a professional sculptor for 20 years, working on all sorts of pieces. But every year, he spends about two months creating Hall of Fame busts for three inductees every class. I've noticed with Hall of Famers, they seem to be as impressed with what I'm able to make out of clay as I am with their prowess on the field. Out of his Utah studio, Hammond creates the works from clay. He tries to spend hours with the future Hall of Famers, making sure to get every detail just right before the busts are bronzed. The reason I like to do portraits out of water-based clay is because it lends itself really well. It's really malleable to begin with, so I can move big shapes around and it gets harder and harder as it dries out. Because Hammond couldn't sit down with Mills, he had to rely on those who knew him best. Fellow inductees and former foes Richard Seymour and Tony Baselli provided feedback. Then Hall of Famer Morton Anderson, Mills' teammate in New Orleans, made sure an important detail was not, let's say, trimmed. Morton said, you got the pencil mustache, so that's all that's important. So, But most important of all was Melanie Mills, Sam's widow. She was good because she wanted to make sure he had the, an expression as a, of a football player instead of just, you know, Sam, the husband and father, which is is awesome but you know it is the football hall of fame he was a go-getter out on the field he was he was tenacious so let's get some intensity in the space so it kind of went from a soft expression back to a much more intense of the bus i sculpted this year he definitely has the most intense focused look in canton nick carboni for wcnc charlotte